He choked on that soundless sob, which would sometimes manifest as a lump in his throat. It felt as if a rock were crushing his chest, and it pained him. It was almost too much. He recalled the time he was denounced by the people's commune because of increasing household plots, and the pain he experienced now felt almost exactly the same. It was a pain that was a result of poverty and overwhelming hardship. Even now, he had a roll of renminbi at his bosom, but he could still feel the profoundly bitter pain deep within his heart. Oh, life, will there ever be an answer? Poverty is painful as it is, but even once one has money, why is there still so much pain? Hey, boss, just wait a little. He'll be here shortly, okay? Oh, he's here! He's already here! What's here, up? boss, What's going here. On here. He's Sin Xiaoping. Oh, so you are Sin Xiaoping? Yes, that's me. <laughs> Found work yet? Not yet. Okay, then follow me. All right. Right, another six hey, men! Where's hey, hey, that man? I don't know either, but he's been looking for you for a few days now. He said he won't hire anyone but you. Uh, uh Foreman? Did Chen Runshang ask you to come? Who? Chen Runshang. I don't know him. Then did Chen Shaoshan ask you, perhaps? Stop, you're not making any sense. You want the job or not? <clears throat> yes, I do. But on one condition. What? I'm literate. I want to study. I won't let it interfere, but once I'm off work, you can't interrupt my studies. All right, all right, all right. Those I pick now. Let's go. It would appear then right. that he would have to work as a casual laborer in Wang Yuan for the rest of his life. It was not exactly a lucrative way of making a living, but everything ahead of him still seemed so uncertain and he didn't know where else to go. Whatever it was, all that mattered anyway was that he was now a Wang Yuan resident. That in itself had extraordinary significance. Hey everyone, come, come here. Put it there. <laughs> I have here some liquor for everyone. <laughs> hey, <laughs> here, don't grab. Don't grab, I said. There's enough for all. Here you go. Hey, Xiaoping, we're drinking. Where are you off to? I'm going to read. No, oh, that's right. You're literate. <laughs> yes. I almost forgot. I'm actually literate. Keep on drinking. Come on. I almost forgot about this book. Sen Xiaoping. Didn't you promise to go to the movies with me? Let's go. Come on, let's go. I can sit in front. Because I'm his girlfriend. <laughs> Arthur sat in the library of theological seminary at Pisa, looking through a pile of manuscript sermons. Want to know how I found out your work address? It was Chen Rungsheng who spilled the beans. Mr. Gadfly? Why did you come here? Why can't I come here? Sit. What? You never sat on something like this? No, don't, don't. You're a female university student. Don't infect the bedrolls of hired laborers like us. You might abduct Elias. 
You... If you can sit on it, then so can I. I said you shouldn't be sitting here. This isn't the place for a university student like you. I just knew it. I knew you wouldn't be happy about my surprise attack for sure. But if you won't take the initiative, then I'll just have to seek you out. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Shosha, let's talk somewhere else. It stinks in here. Thoughts of the past came flooding back to Xiao Xia at the mere sight of Xiao Ping standing right there in front of her. At ease! Attention! The school has decided to slaughter the pigs on the range and throw a dinner party for the students. You're all entitled to one scoop of meat and vegetables free of charge. The kitchen will be very busy, so the cooks will need much assistance. So we had to select a student to go and help. The kitchen help student will be treated as one of the cooks, so he or she may eat as much food and all the meat as he or she may want. So who do you think we should select for this? I think we should ask Sun Xiaoping to go. <laughs> Sen Xiaopi can't afford to pay for school and wears tattered clothes. Have you ever eaten braised meat? <laughs> so funny. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? What are you laughing at? I know why you're laughing. You're laughing at me because my family's poor and can't afford to eat meat. So if I go help in the kitchen, I can eat meat and as much as I want. Well, I am not going. I hope you never humiliate anyone like this ever again. When you humiliate someone, you're actually humiliating yourselves. Did I come at a bad time? You didn't. I won't be around here for much longer, though. What? Shawan came here two days ago. He wants me to go home and help. And did you say you would? Not yet. But I can tell that my brother really wants me to go home. Xiaoxia, can you do me a favor? Sure. I want to rest for a while. Can you count to a hundred for me? I want to rest while you count. Hold on. Sen Xiaoping, hey, look at me. You're contemplating whether to give it to your brother or not. You think counting to a hundred is really good enough time for this? That year, when my brother wanted me to go home to be an accountant, I refused. And I did so because it wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't my destiny. I remember the time we cleaned chimneys together, and it wasn't about making money. I don't want to live merely to survive. Back then, I kept hearing a voice in my head telling me I deserve better. I deserve better. I deserve better. I'm tired. I'm really so tired. <laughs> Why? 
What's the matter? I think you deserve better, too. I think that's a hundred. You've thought about it? It's the same answer as last time. I may not know what I want in the future, but I do know one thing. I don't want to go home. I understand. It's just like how... Your family wants you and I to get married. But the thing is, you don't like me. So you don't want to marry me. But if you... you won't marry me, it doesn't mean you know whom you want to marry. But at the very least, you know that the choice has nothing... to do with me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you lost me. You don't want to marry me, right? Mm. But you don't know who you're going to marry in the future, do you? But you know at least that it's not going to be me. Oh, you don't want to go home. But you don't know what's in store for you in the future either. But at least you don't want to go home now, right? Or something like that? That's right. Something like that. Something like that. <sighs> oh. Hey. I helped you previously by pretending to be your girlfriend. Now it's your turn to help me out. What can I do for you? You cannot say no. You need to tell me first what I have to do. Come back to school with me. I'll tell you when we get there. Sure. I'll live in suspense a little longer. Dressed appropriately. I'll go in and change. Wait here. No, don't change. You look very nice. <laughs> My brother got me these clothes. He even said, You may have use for them someday. A gentleman gives his life for love, and a lady dresses for love. San Xiaoping, does this count as you dressing up for me? <laughs> hmm? Let's go. <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> hey. I won't be going in. Why not? I can. I'm just a hired laborer. And you're a privileged university student. We're just too different. I asked you to come so you can prove to yourself that a hired laborer are no different from students. Let's go. Shausha, this is the ladies' team. It's inappropriate if I join. It's not. I'm a girl and I play against them. It's not inappropriate. Hey, one of ours sprained her ankle. He's going to take her place. Hey, Tian Shausha, from which faculty did you find him? Or did you get a male student to play against us? Don't worry about it. You can get a girl to join your team, too. Huh? It was your idea to have your female schoolmates play against us male students. Let the game begin! On behalf of the 
students I present this award. Mm, this is the prize. And the certificate. A round of applause! Oh, yeah! Shausha, you know what? I often feel like I could be someone sitting on that train without a care for where its next stop may be. One day, Shausha, I shall board that train and then I shall go wherever it takes me. the rest of your life. Do you want to stay here forever and ever? Okay, okay, I can't go. I'd like to go to Xi'an. And Beijing as well. I want to go to Beijing. To visit Tiananmen. And to see Chairman Mao. I've been to both Wang Yiwan and Xi'an, but I've never been to Beijing. Xiaoping, I would like you to go to Beijing with me. I will go to Beijing but not right now. And I'll accompany you someday. I'll remember that. Xiaoping, you must also remember, you are different from everyone else. You're extraordinary. You're someone who's clearly out of this world. I'm just an ordinary person. An ordinary person who wants to live an extraordinary life. Faculty are you from? Are you from the school basketball team? Huh? The school team has never played with such spirit. Not that I recall. So comrade, where are you from? I'm a hired laborer based on Dongguan Bridge. <laughs> it's so nice to take a bath here. Don't be a stranger, all right? Okay. So come back to teach me how to play better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. There's nothing to teach. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go ahead now, okay? Come on. All right. <laughs> Might need privacy. <laughs> okay. Play again next time, all right? Yeah. Take care. Sure, I'll break See you next soon, Shopping. Wow. You're really popular now, aren't you? Hey, a lot of girls have a crush on you, too. That's not true. <laughs> this towel smells really nice. I've used it so I can't give it to you. I can have my basin back, though. Of course. <laughs> the next is... Next is? Oh, I'm not going to the dance party next, am I? Yes, you are. Come look, on. Look, look, looking like this? Wait for me. Let me change first. Hey, Xiaoxia. Uh, May I dance with you later? Sure, I'll wait for Great. you. Great. <laughs> Sen Xiaoping, may I have this dance? But I don't know how. I will teach you. After attending the normal college, Tian Xiaosha had grown accustomed to the interactions between the men and women around her. She believed that she had bid farewell to her past and had now begun a new chapter in her life. Just follow me. Although her personality was still the same, she had otherwise incorporated herself into her new environment. Everything in the past, including her friends from high school, had slowly begun to fade. 
she swiftly plunged herself into this new and different world. In fact, when she first saw Xiaoping again, it felt both strange and familiar. But she soon discovered that he was still her peer, but somehow different. How was it that Xiaoping was different from the Xiaoping she knew before? In terms of appearance, his face was stern and his physique robust. He had presently acquired the aspect of a real man. Still, Xiaoping was as melancholy as he was in high school, and his clothes were just as torn and tattered. What was different from before was that Sen Xiaoping had begun to live independently, if not think independently, and had now chosen a difficult path wrought with strife. Xiaoping, can we go somewhere more quiet? It's too loud here. Xiaoping, do you think this place looks like the hills behind our Wanzi Senior High? Yes. This place reminds me of the hills behind our school. I often walk here. You wrote me a letter once. After I replied, I was wondering why you stopped communicating with me. Is it because I made it to the university? But you remained a peasant? And you've become a hired laborer? Did you stop writing me because of that? That makes you worldly too, then. If by worldly you mean that I'm still the same person with that same stubborn pride, you're mistaken. I admit, our living conditions are very different, but that doesn't mean that the path I take is any less than studying in the university. Yes, I live in the lowest level of society, and for a few yuan, I will endure hardship. But I don't regard it as merely making a living and working hard to survive. Because work, no matter how noble or lowly, does not represent the value of a person's life. Quite the contrary, I'm actually enjoying the suffering I am enduring right now. This is the philosophy I've espoused in the way I deal with his suffering. You have really changed a great deal. Is it perhaps the suffering that you love that has changed you? That is something that we seem to be lacking around here. So have I changed for the better or for the worse? <gasps> Tell me, since you said that I was mistaken, answer me, why didn't you write me back? because I didn't want any of my friends or schoolmates to know about how my situation turned out. I didn't want this information to go around. If my father found out, he would be anxious for sure. I want our elders to think that everything about me in Wang Yuan is perfect. Before my brother came to look for me, other than Runshang, no one knew about my situation. This is not for my ego, but because I didn't want to be laughed at by those who are vain. I'd rather tread my own path, quietly, on my own. Do you promise not to tell anyone about this? Of course. I can keep a secret. Xiaoping, would there be anything else I can do to help? Nothing. Oh, but if you come across any good book, let me know about it, like you always used to. Consider it done. How will I lend them to you? I'll come by and get them from you every two weeks. All right. What day and time then? I can't during the day. How about Saturday nights? And oh, let's get this straight. I'm definitely not going to your weekend dance, all right? Xiaoping, I know you don't want me to visit you in your workplace. So you can come see me here. Yes, you know where I am. You found me this job. I should thank you. Thank you for helping me through the most difficult time of my life. Runshang told you, didn't he? No. I guessed as much. Runshang said you just wanted to help, but I refused him. Forgive me for not telling you all this time. It was precisely because I knew you would refuse. Do you still remember senior high? At the time, I was afraid I would hurt your pride. So I came up with all sorts of ideas and put in so much effort to help, but I ended up offending you anyway. 
So you can say I learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> I saw someone setting fire here from a long way off, and I was wondering what was going on. I'm not setting fire, I'm building fire. Building fire for what? Um, I think that is absolutely none of your business. Oh, then I have nothing to worry about. What do you mean? Thank goodness you're building a fire here. I thought you might have some problem with love and had gone home, perhaps too ashamed to come back as well. Listen to this lady. Stop breathing that, Sin Xiaoping. And let me teach you how to write a new character. What are you going to teach me, huh? Biang biang noodles biang biang. <laughs> You're teaching me how to write noodles? <laughs> biang biang bing biang. Biang? I'll teach you once and you have to remember. Watch closely. Here is a dot right to the sky. A curve on both banks of the Yellow River. Here is the number 8 that's open wide with a character worth that's just right in the middle. A twist to the left, a twist to the right, long on the left, long on the right. With a bright big horse that's right in the middle. Let the moon be the radical, let the heart at the bottom. Draw a hook to hang some sesame candies. Sit in the car so you can roam all over Shenyang. Hey. I picked up a really big sweet potato. Hey, 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 hey. It's just done roasting, hey? <laughs> Don't ruin it. Hey, that smells great. Thank you. Hey, this hey, really what looks are you good. doing? You... I won't stand on ceremony anymore. Thanks, Thanks so, much. so much. Why are you being so rude to me, huh? Oh, come uh, on. You have so many here. I'm just having one. So many? Can you please just count how many there are here? Well, just I scoured stop the whole different. mountain to gather these. This isn't a big deal, Xiaoping. Right, fine. You can have one. Hmm. Go when you're done eating. Don't tell anyone I'm here, okay? You sure know how to roast them. This tastes really good. I take this as my main meal. <laughs> and you're taking this just as a snack. You're so wasteful. Wasteful! Hmm. Wasteful! Will you just look at this? There's still so much flesh on the skin! I tell you, Xiao Xia, if you eat like that again, return the sweet potato to me! Y hey! Hey! What are you doing? Eat this. You're Go so ahead. disgusting! <laughs> Can't eat it, huh? <laughs> You're not trying again, are you? Oh, ah. Hey! Hey! Hey, you put that down! That's another. the last I'll take another! One. I'll take another! I'm taking it! You can't have it back! You were a thief! What? Shopping found your meal tickets and money again? Teacher, listen, here's what I think. You see, that first time I lost them and he found them, he didn't actually take them. Instead of keeping them for himself, he handed them to you. Who knows? If someone loses them a second time, he might just take them. But I'll admit, I regret doing that to him. I mean, if he ended up keeping them, wouldn't I be to blame for ruining his integrity? Well, uh, it's not as if you've only just met Sun Xiaoping. Still, you haven't mastered his character. Sun Xiaoping grew up eating grass. His head's so tough he can stand on it. He doesn't accept money and returns it when he finds it. Isn't that right? Well... Huh? I mean to say, never mind the first time. The thing is, you've done it again. Fortunately, this time, Xiaoping will guess that you're the one who lost the money, and he'll return it to the authorities. But what if he doesn't guess it right? Then you would ruin him and his integrity. Would you hold my flask for me? Wait, wait, come back here. Long come. Your foolishness is great, as the sky is vast. You're going to ask for the money, but let me ask you. How do you intend to ask? How are you going to explain you lost those things twice, just so you can find them? Try and explain that to me. I don't know what to say. I only know that I can't say to him, Sin Xiaoping, I know your family is poor, and I know that you send all the money you earn just to help your family. You're hungry, but you can't afford to eat black steam buns and go to the hills to roast sweet potatoes. You're hungry and you aren't able to take your exams properly. 
Sir, where are you going? We're not done discussing how to help him yet. I'm going to the principal to see if we can give Sun Xiaoping another job under the work study program. Great, let me go with you. No, you go wait in my office. Let's see if Sun Xiaoping will come a second time to hand over the money and meal tickets he found. If he does, you should be thankful. something and you would like to hand it over to the proper authorities. Yes. I found a wallet containing money and meal tickets inside it. It was almost in the same place as that broken metal box I found previously. Oh. You know, there was a philosopher called Heraclitus who said, no man can ever step in the same river twice, for that river can never be the same and neither can the man. You found money in the same place twice, which could only mean that... Which means that it's done by one and the same fool, doesn't it? You mean there's a person like that? Yes, there's actually a person like that. So tell me, why would this person lose something like this twice in the same place? <laughs> How would I know? Xiaoxia, I think this person was leaving this wallet on purpose. Now I'm certain that she means to give me the money and the meal tickets, but she's afraid that she would hurt my pride severely, so she really did it on purpose. Who do you think did it? You know, I went through all the people I could think of who feel nothing but sheer pity for me. I, I, I think I have to keep this wallet first and we will talk to the teacher as soon as he comes back here. I've thought of someone and I was going to approach her. But I was afraid that she might be too harsh. And in case it wasn't her, it would be so embarrassing. So here I am, bringing this wallet here to the teacher's office. That's good, the teacher will be back here soon. Aren't you going to ask me who it was I was thinking of? Who? You. Sun... Sun Xiaoping. I... I know what I did was inappropriate. But I also know your situation. All I wanted to do was to help you, but I couldn't come up with a better idea. Tell me then, if I gave you these meal tickets and money to you, would you take them? I really regret doing it. I know what I did almost... almost ruined you. What if you picked up the wallet this time and didn't bring it here don't to- Don't lose it again. Sun Xiaoping, don't leave yet! You can't go on like this. Would you look at yourself? You look so haggard. <gasps> just take them. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Please just take them. I beg you, please take them. Xiaoxia, do you know why I've never been able to regard you as a good friend? It's because I feel, I feel that you always pity me. I've long wanted to tell you this. Now I finally said it. You're wrong. Really? I'm wrong? You've never been able to regard me as your good friend. It's not because you think I pity you. Then why, huh? You always think people are discriminating against you. You've set your mind on that already. When you find yourself getting close to a classmate whom you consider to be well off, you just fold up and you just can't take it. You are in need of so much warmth, but you suddenly explode and sparks just come flying out of you. You're afraid of getting burned. You think I am afraid of being burned by friendship? Yes! Having no friends is the most painful being thing! Being your friend is more painful! What did you say? You think that being friends with me is painful? Yes! You're just being nice to me because I afford you the joy of being able to pity someone else! I detest people who get mad and throw things. My father never does that! Well, I'm not your father! Who's your father anyway? Your father is Tian Fu Zha, a senior leader in the county! A highly respected person of that! And who am I? I'm just a rural student who never has enough to eat and full of anger! I've always admired your disposition. And felt you were different from everyone else. That's why I wanted to be your friend. Well, I guess I was wrong. 
Perhaps that anger inside of you is what's making you seem different. Someone who gets angry and agitated over the smallest of things is actually angry at himself. Xiaoxia, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Well, me too. Goodbye, Sin Xiaoping. Goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye to our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> We're both wed to freedom. So let us fly away to where lonely storm clouds courageously stray. Hey, do you still remember the poem I recited when we were at the tracks? Fly on to that place, to that turquoise cape. Only the wind is dancing with joy! And, and accompanied, accompanied by, by me! me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd remember this poem. I do. Because... I've always had you for company. <laughs> I really had a great time today. Let's do this more often. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Why are you doing Where this? Where are you to going, me? huh? You stand there properly. Hey, Shosha! Hey! Hey! Come here and stand there properly. Because today. What do you want? Why? What do you? you care? Should you be sticking your nose in our How business here? How dare you here? behave like a common rogue? Aren't you ashamed? Ah, who's got a mouth, this one? <laughs> Get out of the way. How dare you! My name is Sen Xiaoping. Come and get me at Tongguan Bridge if you want more. We're gonna get you. Just you wait. that love could come as quickly as that. Even as I write this, I feel my heart beating faster. Perhaps it's because my feelings for him have been there ever since. I retrace the road I once walked along with him on my own and tried to suppress these feelings as I walked. He said I was bold enough to do anything that I wanted. But I feel different now. It is no longer the same. I'm no longer the girl I was in high school. <sighs> Where could my old self be? Where is that girl? Why don't I feel as brave as I was? What happened to me? What did time do? Wait a minute, aren't you the girl who was just bullied back there? What are you doing here? I've been waiting for you at the gate all this time. W waiting for me? Brother, I beg you, please take me with you. I have no wait, place wait, to wait. go. Wait, 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 calm down. You don't have a place to go? Where's your family? Why don't you go home? No, I can't. I can't go home. My family's poor. My father said he won't let me in the house without money. I'll get beaten if I go home. I can't go home. All right. Why were you bullied earlier? I was helping the stall owner collect money. They refused to pay. I asked them to pay and they hit me. Great the person who hired me said I caused trouble, so he sent me away. Please, brother, what I'll are you go doing? anywhere. Please I'll don't get up. You get up. my blood, brother. Please, help me out. Just I don't wait know a second. Anyone here. Calm down. Tell me, what's your name? My name is Chao Tsui. And how old are you? Well, I'm 17. Good grief. I'm just a hired laborer. How can I help you to... Brother, 
Brother, take me with you, I beg you, please. Brother, take me with you. I have nowhere else to go. Do you know how to cook? Yes, I do. Fine. She can stay. Good. Thank you. Come on. Sleep first on my bedroll today. I'll find you another place to stay later. Let's go. Don't worry. I'll keep watch over you. Sun Xiaoping, when you left it was with a big one. Now you're back with a little one? You really are lucky with all the girls now, aren't you? <laughs> Um, fellas, let's just keep on drinking. Uh, right, <laughs> right, drink, right, let's yeah, just drink. drink. What do you uh, let's sing that song again. Holding as that is the tune of <laughs> I'll see if I can find you another place to stay. Come on. <laughs> Oh, shit. 